creator it's gtv is asking the ladies is his actions ungrateful he need to know we'll see don't, don't say nothing y'all just look at t don't say nothing don't talk just listen okay Stay. Okay, video, please. It's this jump podcast. Uh, let's go. Hey, I need y'all to let me know if I'm tripping about something, right? Let me break it down to y'all. So I've been talking to this young woman. I've been dating her for a while, right? So you know me, I'm a gentleman. I like to court women appropriately, and I, you know, I thought she was a stand-up woman. You know, she's a single mother of two kids. She's a, she's a great mom. So if I, when I can help, I help. You know, I ain't broke. I got my own business. You know, I, I work a good job. So, I, you know, I, I used to send her, you know, one hundred and thirty dollars to get her nails done. I, I sent her lunch money, twenty, thirty dollars every other day. I mean, y'all do the math. That should add up. And I even would buy her roses like every week. I would buy her some roses to put in her vase to cut them up. This is some white roses. I buy her roses. I mean, these are about twenty-five, thirty dollars too. But I always bought her flowers because I I believe in buying a woman flowers. I believe that's to show my gratitude to the woman that I'm adoring. I took her to the H in Orlando um, two weeks, two weekends ago. I always, mind you, I always we always go to a hookah bar or some. You know, we, we went on a lot of you know different dates. Always paid the tab. Never asked her to pay for anything. We went to this steakhouse two weeks ago. The tab was three hundred dollars, and I bought her flowers. Never asked her for anything. Never said you had to do nothing for me. That's just out of the kindness of my heart, right? And then it was a hurricane. Hell, I, I brought the whole house snacks and shit. Bought her kids snacks. They ate all my Hershey bars. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never say nothing about it because I know I'm dating a mother of two kids. I know she has kids. So I have to accept her and her kids. So guess what? I did that. So yesterday, we go on a date to see Smile too. So I told her, like, um, if I'm going to see you, I got to see you during the week because I got a really busy week. I'm a football coach. I coach high school kids. So Fridays are, are busy for me in the weekend. I'd be tired, man. So this weekend, I got a couple photo shoots because I got my own photography business. So we go to the movies, buy the tickets. So I tell her, I'm like, you know, bacon, you give me a bucket of popcorn. She like, um, yeah. So mind you, now, I was joking, but I was serious. So she give me the bucket of popcorn and she buy it. Cool. So we watch the movie. We're going home. I'm, I'm peeping her energy. Her energy is, you know, she just a little, it's just, she, she's aggravated, but she ain't saying nothing. So I'm like, okay, she'll probably tell me later. She probably didn't like the movie. So I'm driving home and so she basically was saying, hey, I wanted, you know, I had a good night with you. I enjoyed you because we, we, we always have a good time together. I'm a vibe. But she was like, basically she wanted to address some things. She was basically saying if you wanted me to come out of my pocket, um, you could have let me know. But you begged me to go to the movies, so I thought you were gonna pay for everything. And if you know what I'm saying, if I had, to, if I knew I had to come out of my pockets, I would have never came, right? So like I'm driving, and I'm like, I'm looking at this shit. I'm like, bruh, I don't hold nothing over people, but at this time, I'm like, bruh, everything that I did, after I just spent three hundred dollars on you in a steakhouse. You can't buy me a a a, a bucket of popcorn for fifteen dollars. That I'm like, that's the most ungrateful shit I've ever seen in my life half first of all we weren't even together we're dating what well, was dating like bro i ain't half of the shit i ain't gotta i ain't have to do this shit i ain't gotta buy you flowers i ain't gotta pay for your nails i ain't gotta do none of that shit i ain't gotta get your kids shit i don't gotta do that so i'm like that shit pissed me off when i seen it but basically you know i just take the back i sent her her money back for the popcorn i sent her five extra dollars hell and i basically was telling her like you ain't gotta never worry about me again like I ain't with that ungrateful shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm a cool nigga. I don't really trip much, but one thing I can't stand is an ungrateful ass female. So I sent her her money back and I told her, I hope you and your boys have a blessed life. You ain't never got to worry about me again. So she basically then continued to go on and say, you know, she was, how was she ungrateful? Because I invited her out and, and I expected her to pay. Like, bro, I paid for the tickets, bro. You paid for a box of popcorn for $15, bro. Like if, if if after all the the thousands of dollars I spent, I, if I ain't worth fifteen dollars, then I don't I don't know how that's not ungrateful. Like that's crazy as fuck, man. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping. You know what? I mean, for one, hold up. First, let me address L Boogie, man. We sorry about the ads in the middle of the clips, bro. You know how it is, man. When you become monetized, man, they want to put money on me. You know, they want to, you know. But um, we need to get paid. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> yeah, we need to get paid. So sorry about that, bro. But let me start this off. For one, he, see, he started that BS, man. He start you started mm -hmm. Broski. 
GTV, you started that shit. When you started giving her, sending her money and all this BS, no man, mm -hmm. no. No, you came off like a baller and she treated you like a baller. So I'll pass it on. Yeah, let me let me let me start this one off since Got DJ it. started the last one off. As a female, number one, he was doing too much. Like uh, yeah, you y'all were dating. Why are you paying for her nails? Why are you buying food for her house and her kids? Snacks, not just like food, but snacks. Like you saying that? Okay, your kids is we you they come as a bars. package, but you were dating. Why? Why do you even know her kids? Like this is just too much. I mean, and so it, my yeah. thing is, it's like okay, she's not obligated. This kind of sort of goes back to the last the last video, right? So mm -hmm. if I'm dating somebody, I don't mind buying a popcorn or you know whatever. But at the end of the day, if you're buying her flowers every week. Give her lunch money. Give her lunch money every two to three days. Yeah. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Thirty every two days. Thirty every two to, And you paying That's her like ninety dollars a week. One hundred and thirty dollars for her nails. So basically, this is this is all. Hold up. You sponsored her. You are her sponsor. That's what you were. Mm -hmm. Sorry to say, but you were her sponsor. So therefore, at the end of the day, she obviously didn't dig him like that. And the reason why I say that is because if she's saying she's irritated, she obviously wasn't feeling him the way he was feeling her. But, but he shouldn't have been putting that money out there like that. So how are you going to say she's ungrateful if she if you didn't even really know if she liked you like that? So he he put himself out there too much. Yeah. But you know what? Before I, before I pass it, allow me to retort. Yeah, I like that. Right there. Yeah, <clears throat> was he really feeling her? It I mean, seemed think about like it. He was. Uh, I mean, or maybe or, or he was just was trying, it, to, was buy, maybe trying, trying a, to buy a her. Exactly. It sounds like maybe he's trying exactly. to buy her. Could have been. Could yeah, have been. I mean, yeah, well, yeah well. let me let me throw my money at you. Yeah, yeah. This, this is this is what I'm working yeah, let, with. Let me see what I can do. Yeah, but also at the end of the day, it's two sides to a story. Yeah, you buying her all this stuff, but what was your character like? What is your personality like? Did you even think to say, okay, well, you know what, are we compatible? There you go. Yeah. What do you gotta say, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this plays into the last video at the end of the day what men have to uh, i don't want not a drop of <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day what men have to stop doing is stop leading with gifts and all because at that nobody's going to turn down gifts There's, right. it's, no. it's mm -hmm. rare that a woman is going to turn down dinner it's rare that a woman's going to turn down uh, her nails getting done her hair 95 98 percent of them are not going to say no so they'll take that stuff without you even knowing that you that they you like they like you they'll just take it just because they're human it's not a using thing but if you're gonna do something nice with me hey i'll take it you did bro you didn't even know she liked you right. you just was doing before, it before he started spending money and, and, right. and so why would she tell you she don't like you if she gonna get the gifts most there's some women that'll be like no thank you because they don't want to do that to you but the majority are not going to do that yeah, so you played yourself yeah, and that's why i always much. say get to know the, the person don't take them on a 300 dollars dinner because guess what even if they don't like you they ain't going to want it to stop right and so they're going to keep doing it right until it's mm -hmm. a point where and that point came early a ten dollar bucket of goddamn popcorn. Right. She lost. She lost her damn mind. <laughs> bye, 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 I gotta buy you, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> bro. So when she was before the nails and all of that, you know what you should have did? You should have bought her. You uh, took her to the the, the the local bar and bought her like a a Long Island iced tea because she would have been like Long Island. I only drink Don Julio. Then you could be like, you know what? All right, cool. I'm getting rid of her. But you did all that tricking, and Man. and you played. Hold on, hold, hold on. What was he doing? He was doing lunch, giving her lunch, snacks for for, for her. He said for nails her and family. First. Nails. One thirty on the nails. Then he did the, the he did the roses all the time. Roses and then he, once a he week. said, oh, we go to the hookah bar and all of that. So you got to talk. Th th add that into account. Yeah, that's too much. He was money. doing all too the much. stuff, that's and he never much. even knew if she if she liked him. That's but again, the, the woman's not going to say, "I don't really like you, so I don't want to." Take yeah, but money. see, if he if he was paying attention, I'm pretty sure there were some signs. So obviously, like I said, it seemed like he was really trying to yeah. throw himself at her. Not necessarily. For, I'm, I'm not throwing. I think I think he was trying to control her. I'm a female. At the end of the day. If, if I like you, I'm going to start to show some, some signs that I like you. But if I'm not really digging you, I'm going to be standoffish. That's you. This the, the modern woman, if he's going to take me on $300 dates, guess what? I'm going to play the part. I'm going to act like yeah. he is the knight in shining armor because guess what? 
uh, Terquavion Ter- wasn't taking me there. <laughs> we was not going anywhere. You know, Terquavion Ter- 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 wasn't the taking me nowhere. So now GTV, he done took me on a $300 date. I don't want this to stop. So Ter- I'm going to act like I like him until the wheels fall off. And a lot of women, a lot of women do that. They be, again, the guys be tricks. They don't want it to end. So yeah, they'll act like they in love with you until the moment you tell them no. And then boom. Yeah, but see, that's too expensive. That's like a whole cardinal the way he was spending on her on a monthly basis. But again, if you yeah. got it, you don't think it like that. You just like, all right, I he got it. He could put that money to something else. He don't care because he got money. So it's like, I got money. I'm cool. All right, with you it. know what, GTV? You know what? <laughs> Find me. You can take me on some days. Oh, I'll go with you. Yeah. GTV. If you're watching, hey. And look, I'll hey. go half with you. Oh. Hey, G, she like that man butter on her Ooh. brain. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Man, butter on the brain <laughs> is diabolical. Actually, I like it on the lower. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we need apology. Um, uh, yeah, hey, there you go. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Hopefully, y'all get a closer. Hey, you two, how you doing? This is CJ from This Show on Podcast. I just want to say for the fourth time this episode that we love the community, we respect the community. And we respect the guidelines. Uh, Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, we, and we would like to stay monetized. Thank you. Oh, man. So, so we go to the comment? Let's go. So the first comment, the first comment uh, says from uh, Julie, who's that? Julie S. 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 Julissa. Julissa. Don't change who you are. Just change the person you do it for. Facts. At point blank and that's yeah. what I'm saying like at the end of the day don't change you you know being a giving man yeah. cause him giving Stop gifts giving so much but, so soon but that might be his love language so that's fine but just make sure you're giving it to the right person like make sure she is uh, accepting of it and she's not Worthy. expecting of it right. it's a difference right. women who accept it you could give them a keychain. You might give them the three hundred dollar date at first, but then you might give them a poppy store platter, and they just accept it because you give it. Yeah. If yep. she's only and being like, appreciative, that's the woman the that was time. expecting. She, you, she, you, she paid for a ten dollar bucket of popcorn and lost her damn mind. That means because she was always expecting for you to do it. So you see the signs. If you get in a relationship with her, she's going to expect you to do everything. Everything. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. You got to understand the difference between a woman who's accepting. And a woman who's expecting. expecting it's a big difference. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You got that T? T, T you got that goddamn phone? T, I'm not even on the phone. You tend to see your men now. Look. She is in the DM. That's why she's on there. <laughs> 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 All right, so comment number two from Shirley Dixon says she's losing a good man over some popcorn. Yep, she could be. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She really yeah. could be. I mean- but. He he's showing, but see, then once again, it's always two sides to a story. We don't yeah, know everything don't about know. this man. For one, one from from what I see on the video, he love bombed her. Yeah, definitely. Women, uh, I'm gonna and tell you see, right now. What women is a have, lot of times with that love bombing. He's like but, that now, but then a year from now, oh my god, no, he could be a complete creep. Yeah, I agree with you. But I'm gonna tell you right now, women get cringy when you love bomb them. Especially when it's early in in the relationship, you shouldn't be love bombing nobody. You shouldn't be spending uh, buku amounts of money on women in the beginning. You yeah. want the woman to like you for you, because God forbid stuff happen. You can lose your job or your business right. fall down, and now you ain't got the money. And now she's looking at you like, oh well, I'm so used to this type of lifestyle. Get, no, stop. You don't have to spend all that money. The woman should like you just because you funny or you nice or you you thoughtful. Not you thoughtful because you took me to Eddie V's. You just thoughtful because you thought of me and you bought me some flowers. Or you right. thought of me yeah. and you said, hey, I was at Pretzel Factory and I got you some pretzels. I, I know I seen that you like the salt pre- like stuff like that. It should not be that you spending mega amounts of money yeah, on them yeah, for you to be for doing, you to be cla- uh, deemed thoughtful. That's not how thoughtful. Yeah, because right. yeah, yeah. yeah, if he was doing, let's say, one of those things once a month, that would have been okay. Like not on a weekly basis. Like okay, yeah, if you want to do the nails this month and then next month the flowers and then a the month after that something a dinner or whatever. But you doing this on a weekly basis? Come on. And what I and what I I was waiting for him to say, but he never said is what she did for him. 
He never said, never. well, I took her, no. I gave her some flowers, but she did this. Blah, 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 blah. Obviously, she didn't. That's and if she had a problem paying for $15, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Play yourself. <laughs> there was no reciprocation in this in this dynamic at all whatsoever. You can obviously tell Play there yourself. was no reciprocation. It was just a one way street. It wasn't two ways. Play yourself. Exactly. So, last comment from uh, Rashida Joyce says, all the women in these comments that would buy the popcorn and nobody thinking his response was so wild. Out, that there has to be more to the story. Yeah, that's what we I all think. I mean, this woman is ungrateful. Man, Rashida Joy, bye. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> At the end of the day, it was it was wild. The fact that she didn't want to buy. If it was more to the story, then uh, oh, I, okay, it might have been. But uh, there's no way. Like he did all of that, unless he just you know finesse okay, the and views. Okay, and, 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 and I get it. Okay, because as from a mother from a motherly perspective, mm -hmm. if she's saying you forced me. And, and, and let's just play devil's advocate here. She could have like really been broke. She's a single mother with two kids. Who's to say that maybe, you know, but, she just paid but, her mortgage or whatever and she really didn't have the money. So but, she could have just But maybe said did she that. say, hey, listen, I don't have the money. She could have just blah, said blah, that. Blah, blah. You know what I mean? Again, as men, it's very rare that we play women the way women play us. We could say, yo, like right now I ain't got it. Uh, you know, my, my money is tied up in investments. Okay, brokey, bye. That's <laughs> that's women. Damn. A woman, we could flip. We could flip it. We could, the woman could say he could have said, "Yeah, you gonna grab the popcorn?" She could have been like, "You know, I just paid my kids tuition. I really don't got it." Ninety-seven, eight percent of men are gonna say, "All right, it's cool. Don't worry about it. I know you had to take care of your kids. I got you." Because we ain't gonna want. We most men, really, we not gonna play a woman and definitely not play her in front of her face like. That's not no. Most men don't do that. So she could have said that up front to wait until she got home and then text him. Oh, I feel some type of way you made me. But come on. Yeah, because my but, thing is, as but grown me, as grown uh, men and uh, as grown adults, she could have had that conversation with him in a car. Yeah, like, but, hey, but now, right now, now, the now, now, now let me add. Let me add this. It could be some BS to to this whole story and this whole video because, for one. I'm not going to, if I have the money, I'm not going to ask nobody, no woman that I'm dating to, to fork over some fucking $15 for some popcorn. Unless that was now, his test. Now, if I go out with a woman and I pick up the bill, which I normally do, because I'm not going to ask you out if I don't have the money. Thanks. So I pick up the bill. Now, if you say, I got the tip, well, okay, cool. No problem. You got that? No, no problem. I don't have a problem with that. You know what I mean? But I didn't ask you. I didn't ask you to, oh, I'd get, yo, put the 15 out of it. No, it's some other side to the story. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was a, a baller trying to act like a baller and 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 she called his ass out on the shit. But, yeah. you know, but. Mm -hmm. I'm with it, El Boogie. It, 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 yeah. Shout out to El Boogie. He ain't even get no yams. F up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, if he didn't get the yams from spending all that yams. money. He didn't. I know he, he did. Probably, he probably didn't. He didn't get the yams. F up out of here. He probably didn't. Next. Yeah, I did. Pop out of here. Man, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. AT. Hmm? Stop giving up the yams and shit. You know what, what? I mean? Over some damn popcorn. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what? I should slap the crap out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know this is I, a wild place I, over here. I'm telling y'all. Y'all don't even understand. I value myself. Be like, yeah. I'm not just giving up nothing for the You going to put butter on that popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> you might get the extra yams tonight. <laughs> oh, I'll squirt the popcorn. Oh, okay, video yes, three. Hey, uh, uh, hey. Can we get a YouTube apology, please? <laughs> hey, again, I'm sorry, YouTube. I apologize. <laughs> I don't have control over you know things that come out of people's mouths, but for the fifth time, we love the community. We respect the community. And we respect the guidelines, <laughs> and we we do we we really do love to be monetized. Thank you, thank you, YouTube.